6,975 pounds. The only problem with the just under 30 foot Rockwood Front Kitchen 2608 BS here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan, is that we just can't seem to keep them in stock. Case in point, this one was on order for inventory and someone has already pre-purchased it, which has become very normal for this floor plan. People keep asking us, what, don't you guys carry them? No, no, we just have them sold before they land. Thankfully, I had an opportunity to still get some good footage for one here. So when we do manage to have one on hand, you know what you're gonna see when you come visit us here at Halet RV. First of all, can we just take a moment and tell Rockwood, good job for listening, giving us this lighter, brighter interior wood tone option. They still have the darker slate wood wood tones available, but this new, lighter Newport Ash, uh, I, this is something that people have been just begging for the past year, and I am really glad to see it here. But the thing is, they didn't just give it a color swap. There's a bunch of little subtle variances that went into this that I think you are really going to enjoy. Now, quick note, this is the new chocolate fabric tone. Um, there's also the stone fabric tone. You'll see plenty of that at Halet RV. So remember, and I'm gonna say this a bunch of different times because this model is so popular. Uh, I, I can barely speak, apparently. Popular, we will build it several different ways and potentially have different copies with different equipment in stock here at Halet RV, uh, maybe at the same time, all in one given point. Uh, one of the newer updates over here is they have a, uh, a little kind of hidden version of the LCI One Control system uh, available for, you know, Androids and iPhones. So, you know, you can get the free app on your phone, you can sync your phone to this control pad, and your slides, your awnings, your tank heaters, checking your power or your, your tank holding tank levels, you can do all of that right there. And of course, the Wi-Fi Ranger is still integrated into this. They actually have their own handy little switch for it. And if you're not familiar with what the Wi-Fi Ranger is, maybe it's not real high on your priority list. But if you're looking for, uh, like, you know, an integrated kind of data access point, that is one of the things that these Rockwoods have been doing longer than just about anybody. Now, another quick housekeeping note. What we are looking at here is the standard 8 cubic foot two-way gas electric fridge. And it's great. It's just ducky. You will also find us having copies of this in stock at Halet RV with an optional 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt compressor fridge. And from Rockwood, when you add the 12 volt fridge, you also simultaneously upgrade to a 190 watt solar panel and inverter to run a few various outlets uh, positioned at different areas throughout the RV. So even right there, we will have something that could look exactly like this, but have this big stainless fridge sticking out at us. That's, uh, you know, part of the difference there that you might expect. So this is one example of a 2608 here at Halet's. Not necessarily the example of every single 2608 that we'll have at Halet RV. But this will give you a really good idea. And if we get everything opened up here, I want to zoom in on the kitchen and spend some good time here. Because, I mean, logically, the kitchen is one of the focal points of the camper. Now, you see that stainless sink right there, but it's easy to miss the fact that, like, if you look... Here you go. Here's where you can see it start. If you look right down there, you can see where they actually start a backsplash. They run it from that countertop all the way up to the cabinet, and then they run it all the way around this wall. So everywhere that you're potentially splashing water or cooking and splattering grease, they've got an easy clean and backsplash on top of that solid surface counter that they have here. Obviously, you got split sink covers. I've got one in place and one pulled out. You've got the flush mount stove top to really give us some pretty good prep space. Above that, an easy to overlook feature, a 40% larger microwave. And I like that because now I can cook three hot pockets instead of two. <laughs> you can see the update to the hidden hinges. This is all still hardwood cabinet framed, uh, cabinet door framed rather, with pocket screwed cabinetry. And one of the interesting things, your upper doors here, it looks like they've swapped to a flat panel, but what they've actually done is given you a hardwood insert, they've just reversed it to give it that nice clean shaker style, almost residential look and feel. Easy reach outlets, you'll find those, like you see them up here in the corner, as well as in that far corner, which I think is probably gonna be like a, a very common um, appliance corner, toasters, microwaves, things like that. Rockwood includes the larger 22 inch oven. You see they give us some nice space for a wastebasket below the sink. And great drawer and lower cabinet space right there. But 
they keep running the storage like all the way through here. You see how you've got dual drawers for our dinettes. The table can flip out of the way and that doesn't really help your storage. I just thought I'd take the opportunity to show you that. But a nice thing here, so many brands have been sacrificing storage to give us bigger windows and I get it. Big windows are nice, but that storage is so valuable. Every little nook and cranny you possibly can. I like that they're including that here. Now, the one thing you haven't really seen so far is a dedicated pantry. No worries. It's right over here. Now, you've got this kind of shoe garage down below. And if you're really paying attention, you might have noticed there's a pair of those drunken octopus coat hanger mounts uh, here in the pantry. Well, that's because these are adjustable, removable shelves. So if you do want to convert that into a pantry or closet or some combination thereof, you can do a little bit of anything and everything here. Now, as long as I'm looking up top, let's talk air conditioning. Uh, single air standard, second air optional. We usually build this one dual air here at Halo RV. But what's kind of cool is if we get up here next to this uh, nice, you know, skylight slash heat vent, you see two AC ducts. Rockwood does double ducted air conditioning to always make sure that there's really good efficient airflow through their camper. And they do that, you know, through their small trailers up through their big trailers. They're just very good about consistency factors like that. And although the front kitchen is definitely the focal point, I did still want you to get to see it in like living mode. Nice thing about that free floating table, if you want to cheat that a little bit over toward the other side, you know, scoot it toward your partner. I scoot it over toward my wife and kid. It is nice to have that. All of the windows will open for breeze. Uh, not the front windshield, but all of the windows will open for airflow. There is an important distinction there. I love the little modernization that touches the minimalism, the, the sleek cleanliness of the updated light fixtures they have in here as well. Now, something else that's cool. Like, when I, when I came over here and I, I looked at this theater seat, I was like, oh, very nice. You know, you've got, you've got your dual wall-hugging theater recliners right here. Um, and this has kind of like a, uh, oh, what do I want to say, toy hauler, where it's got a folding console now. So if what you're actually looking for is one wide open love seat, well, you've got that too. Now you can see they've updated to the light colored, uh, like roll down blackout shades. Now blackout shades don't have to be black in color. And because those are white, those will actually help while well, they're a cream or something. Guy, you know, everybody knows that guys know the eight colors from the crayon box. That's all. I know green and red and blue. I don't know mauve. I don't know what that is. I don't know what sienna and buse are. I know white. So it's a pretty much white <laughs> roller shade. And that will help keep a lot of sunshine out of this thing, which is nice. But I looked down here and I went, uh, you know, I, I don't like that I have to have the console down to have some USB plugs. And how foolish was I to ever doubt Rockwood? I happened to look around a little bit more, and on this dual element blue-white reading light, you hold it and you get the white light, they've got the USB plugs. Now, of course, you can just pull this down. Cup holders, household outlet, dual USB plugs. But this is typical Rockwood. They're always taking it to the next level. They're always doing more for us. Uh, right across from that theater seat, you see that uh, electric space heating fireplace keeping our toes warm. Really doing a heck of a job to uh, providing some propane-free heating into the RV. Rockwood's still doing a DVD player. A lot of brands are not. I see benefits to it both ways, but it certainly doesn't hurt having there. It still has HDMI plugs. It's still Bluetooth and all that. It's just nice that there's still a DVD there. But they left this nice wide open shelf if you want to add a Blu-ray or anything, you can. And obviously, the TV can pivot around for some easy viewing pretty much anywhere you're at here. Now, I specifically wanted to leave the TV swung out as far as I could. And I wanted to leave that theater seat kicked out as far as I could. So that you can see if somebody is laying on there, if they are sleeping, you don't have to like uh, be a ninja and do a, a triple sow cow back flip to get over them to get over here into the bathroom. You can just walk right by them. Now in here we've got porcelain foot flush stool and you can see it is dual entry. It'll take you, you know, you can you can bypass the uh, bathroom entirely to get straight to the bedroom, but you don't have to. Now up top here we've got that larger Max Air uh, vent fan, complete with root Max Air roof vent cover. And typical Rockwood thing, huge sink in this thing. And you see that, uh, you know, big radius shower right here. I want to get this opened up. I probably should have had that 
undone in the first place. That's magnetic, by the way. So even if you don't have the little stretch arm strong shower holder backer, <coughs> technical term, you know, it's not going to fly open on you. Now in here, originally found only in the GeoBro series, you see the shower miser now found through pretty much all of the Rockwoods. Uh, I mean, everything but the pop-ups, anything with a shower, really, or a full-time shower. They're also including that handy little shower caddy, which can easily be removed and easily washed in case you accidentally slop some soapy stuff on it. And note the really weird angle on the skylight. That is so that along with the mini vaulted roof that you find on these Rockwoods, you can always stand directly in front of the shower head and, uh, you know, not have to like duck and bang your head on things. Now that linen cabinet, let me open this up. I, I don't, I believe that lying by omission is still lying. The linen cabinet is a funky pizza wedge shape. Um, it'd be very good for soaring slices of pizza. I don't think you're ever going to do that. But frankly, what more do you really need? It's enough. I can get, I can roll my towels up kind of military style. I can put my tall vertical body wash bottles and stuff in there. It does what I need it to. So we've got a 60 by 80 queen bed in here. And what I love about this is if you notice, they build the bed slide nice and wide so that you still include some side stands. We have cross breeze windows here. Now, one of the main differences between uh, the 2608 Rockwood that we are looking at and the 259 FKDS Freedom Express that we have at Halet RV, they're both very similar. They're both just under 30 feet, potentially half ton towable with the right vehicle. Um, they are both front kitchens with rear bed slides. The Freedom Express is a 70 by 80 King. This is a 60 by 80 Queen, but it has more room to walk around. Another thing this does very well is that uh, if we take a look starting down here, you see that there's these two huge dresser drawers. And if you look underneath that, you'll see that everything Rockwood builds has an aluminum skeleton. That dinette we looked at is exactly the same way. They do a lot of aluminum build work. I remember those two uh, reading spotlights with USB plugs that we saw above the theater seat. Well, you get to see two more of those right here. Now, one of the major things, it's actually two options I want to talk about right now, is first of all, these are standard 30 amp service. We will almost always build these with 50 amp service here at Halet RV, and we will almost always build them with the second centralized factory installed air conditioner to really just bring this thing down, especially in conjunction with the white option exterior skin that you find here at Halet's most of the time. Really get the heat down in this thing. Now, what is cool here is there's so much room to walk around the base of the bed, the sides of the bed. You can stand in here. You can get dressed in privacy with those blackout shades drawn. But if need be, you see that you do have a couple more big dresser drawers on, not to mention that huge closet. And the design of this bedroom is so smart because they didn't put the closet on the back of the RV, which makes it longer, heavier, more expensive. Instead, they left it here across from the bed, which works just fine. And if you want to, you can install a TV against that uh, back wall. There's a backer laminated right into the wall. And you may have noticed how both doors have their own true full viewing window. You could black that out if you're so inclined. And if you do choose to add a solar package, or if you purchase a Rockwood from Halo RV that already has the solar package on it, such as that which comes with the 12 volt compressor fridge, this is where the charge controller would be located. And one more thing before we step outside and stay there. <laughs> well, you want to step outside, pal? You get the idea. With the slide close, we can obviously get to the sink, to the refrigerator, to the dinette if we need to stop and grab a bite to eat. The sofa becomes a little less accessible. And obviously, with that slide closed, unless you can turn into Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four and stretch Armstrong slingshot your way through that thing, you're not going to get to the bed and bathroom. Or rather, you wouldn't be able to. Because if that's your goal, then instead of using door number one, you use door number two. And come on down! You're the next contestant on Take a Nap and Take a Crap. <laughs> oh, gotta have a little fun. So, the majority of the bed remains accessible in transit. It does sneak under that a little bit. So, the 60 by 80 True Queen kind of becomes a Camp Queen-ish in transit it's not ideal but i mean if you had to make it work for a stop you probably could but obviously with that second door here you can get right back to that bathroom where we were previously and you can access basically everything that really counts for transit you just maybe got to hop outside real quick so it really depends on what you're looking for but usually a two slide front kitchen like this is going to be best left to destination use now if we slide out that bedroom door you like that little transition right there you get to see something cool 
Rockwood's very uncommon, especially in travel trailers, but frankly, even most fifth wheels with two entry doors don't do this. They're using the, what I call, zero G stable steps with the gas strut easy lift and lower system, and they're doing it on both doors. And you'll notice both doors have the same treatment. They're both a wider 30 inch door. So you can, you know, if you're carrying stuff in or out, you're not gonna clip your shoulder walking in and out of this thing. It's just what I call Rockwood doing Rockwood things. They're always going above and beyond. They're never the brand that does enough. They always do more. Case in point right here. They decided, you know what? We got tired at Rockwood of hearing about Jayco and their Goodyear Endurance Radio. So guess what? Now we got them too. That's just the kind of stuff Rockwood does. They don't ever like to lose in anything. Not in any little nook, cranny, widget, nothing. And they are still including a wireless uh, monitor with a tire pressure monitoring system. Uh, it communicates with those valve stem caps right there so that you can have, uh, you know, in motion monitoring of your tire pressure, which is really, really handy. Now, uh, your uh, TV mount out here is located right below that beautiful new graphic that they have. And I love it's 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 unique and it's new but it's definitely geo pro inspired from years past and i'm a big fan of it i love the colors that they got coming together here there's a little removable side mount prep table that could mount on there i obviously just left it in the storage compartment unfortunately apologies for that normally you would see a gas griddle and an lp quick connect right next to it but on this floor plan that is actually located up here so you're not losing the quick connect it's just in a little bit different location now it's nice is you don't have to use it on that mounting rack because if you notice right here there's still these handy little foot pegs if you want to put it on the picnic table or something like that you can as long as you got a propane hose long enough to reach the quick connect that's down here you can do it and if you need an extension for those wouldn't you know Halet RV has those kind of things funny how that works right now they didn't want to waste any little pocket of space so that corner under the uh, kitchen that you can't really get to from the inside, they open it up from the outside. And you're still getting the nicer slam latches here. You're getting the sealed edge uh, or sealed hinge protected uh, baggage doors. Now, uh, one of the other things that comes into view right as I step around this corner here are the power stabilizer jacks. That used to be an optional piece of equipment that we like to add to our Rockwood Ultras here. Um, and it's since just become standard. On the Rockwood Ultras, uh, the 12 volt tank heating pads have also just become standard. Good news is we would have put them on for you here at Halet RV anyway. What is still optional is this just striking, beautiful white and graphite exterior package you're looking at here. Now Rockwood has two different exterior decors. This is the optional white and graphite. It really lightens and brightens up the RV and it will be a lot cooler in the sun. I think their champagne and like really dark uh, nose cap, it looks very good. It's a, it's a nice deep rich tan skin with some excellent deep rich accents on the nose, but I'm afraid it's going to be a lot hotter in the sunshine. So then I said, man, especially a bigger RV like this that's gonna catch a lot more sunlight, I really wanna make sure these are coming in lighter and brighter for folks. You can see we've obviously added the uh, slide out awnings here to also help keep the slides protected from rain, wind, snow, debris, all that stuff. Everything is just simpler and easier here. Another little difference that's easy to miss on the Rockwoods, 30 pound propane tanks. And that's like a lot of brands are using 20s and there's nothing wrong with 20s. There's some advantages to 20s, but Rockwood's always like, eh, whatever you're doing, I can do it bigger, better, better. And uh, they decided they're gonna give you 50% more propane capacity, which, eh, you know, kind of cool. It's less time between refills. Uh, most RVs, unless you're just cooking that furnace, they really don't use a lot of propane. So those tanks can go a long, long time. And just so you can see it, this is standard. The underbelly is enclosed. Remember on the ultras now, like we're looking at here, tank heaters have become standard. Jumping back to the bed slide, there's an outside access compartment door to the, the kind of storage area under the headboard and, and middle of the bed area. And I love the clean execution that you find on those Rockwoods. Uh, you, you see that all aluminum skeleton, like I said, anything that they build in-house, we kind of peeked at that from the inside, but anything they build in-house, they use welded aluminum cage work, which is nice. And you can see even that little, very like, I guess you call it like an off door, not a main baggage door. 
they're still using magnet hold backs and slam latches. They're still using the nicer hardware. Uh, she's backup camera ready. You can see the little Darth Vader hood sticking out below the upper marker light there. Obviously, all of our windows are nicely tinted. Majority of the windows are frameless. The slide side windows do slide open to give you good airflow. I want to get up close here so you can see something really nice. Like, a little detail stuff. Rockwood doing Rockwood things. We've got that handy hard shell spare tire cover so that the weather isn't eating away at that tire when you're not using it. But they also have a standard two inch receiver hitch down here with a 300 pound rating. So if you want to add some accessories, you can do so without worrying about voiding your warranty. Little nice detail stuff like that goes a long, long way. And I think just by virtue of the fact that Rockwood has been building laminated ultralight RVs longer than anyone, and they've had the longest record of success as compared to anybody else in the marketplace, I think they're just more in tune with things like that. They're better at listening and, and adjusting and keeping on top of trends. And I enjoy being able to get up here on top of the Rockwoods because their laminated roof construction is just absolutely no flex at all. It always feels stable and secure. You can see that white exterior is also giving us a, uh, a white roof membrane, which will also help shed a lot of heat from the sun organically. They're very heavy handed with their sealants from this brand. That's something I've always liked. You know, this is an area that some brands, they'll, they'll say, oh man, we could save 10 cents a trailer if we just use a little bit less caulking. And they don't do that. They, they put that self-leveling stuff all over the place very heavy handedly to make sure that there's no voids in your seals from the factory level, which is a flowery way of saying leaks that nobody wants. There's a good look at that. I told you how the, the shower skylights mounted at like a 45 degree angle. They can do that because of the uh, laminated nature of their roof to always make sure that has good positioning. Now there's attic vents up here to, uh, or pardon me, the, these caps that we're looking at, they're not attic vents on this because it has a laminated roof, I'm sorry. They are pipe vents from like your holding tanks so that you know you don't get backflow of odors into the RV. You see the big Max Air vent cover over the Max Air fan here. That's the uh, front thing we're looking at. And on the back there, that is that optional second air conditioner that we have added to these. We like to put those on this 2608 most of the time. Every now and then we'll bring one in with a single air. Uh, we also have things like the uh, Freedom Express 259. We tend to bring those in with a single air just to help give you a little bit of product variance and difference so that whether you're looking for one air, two air, king bed, queen bed, whatever it is, we've got different options for you here at Halo RV. And you can see standard roof solar prep, that little plug over there. And remember that on a lot of future models, a lot of future copies of this that we have here at Halo RV, what you would actually see there is a 190 watt factory installed roof solar panel. The RV would have an inverter installed and it would have a 12 volt compressor fridge. So what we're looking at here today may not match every single 2608 that we will carry over the year here at Halo RV. This will still always give you 99% of the information for everything that we have. But to always, always be sure of exactly what we have, make sure you reach out to our sales contact up there in the building. Verify that what we have is exactly what you're looking for. And if it's not, let us know. We'll get one quoted out. We'll get one built for you. Free of those pesky hidden dealer fees that we just don't do here at Halet RV. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halet camping, everyone.